All right. Let's come into our mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, and reach your crown toward the ceiling. Get your core activated so you're supporting your spine and relax the shoulders down in the back. Spread your toes, keep breathing, and just focus inward for your yoga perspective. And then inhale, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale the hands behind you. Press them to the floor, lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes, and on an exhalation, come on over. Dip it at the hips, bring your head down toward your legs, and your hands up toward the ceiling. Move your chin around, release the back of your neck. Lift the sitting bones, stretch the legs, and don't forget to breathe. And then knees slightly bent, chin slightly in. Start at the bottom of your spine. Just wind all the way back to the top and lift your heart. So coming into the back bend, just stretch your head back and away so that neck keeps stretching as well. Don't lift your chin to your body. And feel the full chest area expand. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment to feel your body, shoulders back and down, and do it again. Arms up, shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and we clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Press them down as you lift your heart, chin slightly in, stretch the neck, and then pivot over. And again, deepen as far as you'd like. Move that hip down further if you want. Sitting bones up a little higher. Bring your hands in the direction of your head for those shoulders as well. And again, with the knees slightly bent, work your way back up. And into the upper body for your back. Stretch it out, shoulders dropping. And don't forget to breathe. And inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feel your body. Again, a little more energized and activated. Side stretches next, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Go ahead and clasp them and bring your arms next to your ears. Stretch everything straight and forward and lean to the side. No twist, you don't lean that shoulder. Move the front. So the whole rib area stretches as you push the foot nearly in the way from down. A little extra out through the hands. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades go toward your waist. And then inhale up and switch your arms. And again, lengthen up, stretch everything straight, and lean to the side on the other direction. And again, push the foot away and the hands out as you stretch the side open. Make sure that top shoulder is back, not leaning forward. And then inhale back to the center and release into that knee. Feel your sides more open and then really stretch the spine apart so we can twist. So spread your toes, knee hip width, arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping up your toes. Stretch through the spine, get the sitting bones down and the crown up, and then exhale and turn to the opposite side. Right. One side. Take a breath. Exhale, keeping your weight on both feet. Come on forward. Spread your toes, keep your arms by your ears, and lift your sitting bones. And breathe. And then in the twist, work your way up and lift your heart. Bring your elbows back and your shoulders down. So make sure you're at the upper body only for the back bend, not the lower back while you're twisting. And then inhale upright, exhale toward the center and switch your arms. And again, lengthen the spine apart. Exhale to the opposite side. Another breath. And then exhale on the other one. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like, letting those legs be a stretch. 
Keep your arms by your ears and don't forget to hurt your feet. Wait on both feet still as you work your way back up. And again, lift your heart into the back bend. Uh, the body only. Take a few breaths there. Stretch your elbows and head away. And then inhale upright. Exhale around to the center. Arms up, shoulders down, extended neck. Spread your toes, heal your body. <clears throat> And then let's bend the knees toward your toes, not beyond. Push the sitting bones way back and come into your chair squat. So just as deep as your legs want to go, remember, don't overwork your knees. Make sure they're still behind your toes and your arms are by your ears and your spine is nice and stretched straight. And your sitting bones are way behind you as much as you need to for your squat. And then inhale back upright, arms out, arms to shoulder level, pivot forward, and drop into leg double. Just hang a moment, or bring your hands behind your legs and pull in even deeper for a back stretch. And then arms back to the center, and again, knees slightly bent as you wind all the way back to standing. Take a moment as you get there, feeling your body. Bring your hands onto your back, heels of the palms about your shoulder blade level, fingertips down toward your hips, and then bring your elbows toward each other. Take a moment there, pushing your hands into your lower back gently, and keep your hips over your ankles as you stretch into a back bend, lifting your heart, pushing your head back. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel the spine. Let it do what it needs to do for its support with your hands. Elbows toward each other. Feel the chest open across the top. And then chin toward your chest, coming back up and into mountain pose. Again, feeling your spine a little bit more and your jaws. And then let's just swing gently side to side. Again, a little twist, so make sure you're stretching that spine apart as you follow your hands from one side to the other. And then back to the center and take a moment breathing. And let's go to the wall. So a wall or door, anything that's nice and stable. And you just need to stay about a foot or two in front of the wall long enough to put your hands on the wall. So hands right in front of your shoulders, and then lift the hands up the length of your palms, so a little bit higher. And then take a step back to both feet, and then push your sitting bones over your ankles, head between your arms, reaching up toward your hands. So just make sure that your neck stretches, moving that head up toward your fingers, shoulder blades, toward your waist, and sitting bones pushing back over your ankles. Take a moment, just dropping those ribs, letting that whole heart area drop to the floor a little bit more. Push the sitting bones hips back. Exhale, just any tension. And then bend your knees slightly, tuck in your chin a little bit, and take a step forward. Release your arms and return to mountain pose at the mat. Take a moment and breathe and just feel again a little bit more openness through that rib area and hips. Bring your hands to your heart. <clears throat> Inhale, follow them toward the ceiling. A little bit behind you as you look at your thumbs, giving yourself another back bend, unsupported this time. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, up again into what I go. And then slide your hands up under the knees into that halfway up stretch. So take a moment there, just lengthening your spine. Exhale, retention. Drop your arms back to the floor, knees bent in, and again, all the way up into. Mountain pose. 
take a moment there, and then step a little wider, feet turn slightly out. Bend your knees again toward, but not beyond your toes. Make sure they're not sinking in or out. Going toward your second toe. Hands above your knees. Remember, you're not supporting. You're just positioning, keeping your shoulders over your toes. Spine is nice and straight as you start. We're going to twist again. So take a moment to breathe. As you exhale, bring the shoulder across down toward the opposite knees. So turn your whole body to the side. So the hip behind you on the side, you're turning toward this up a little bit. As your hips, ribs, and shoulder turn toward that knee, toward the side. Stretch your neck, keep stretching the whole spine into the twist. Stretch it out. Exhale, turn back to the center. Again, parallel to the floor ish. Stretch that spine apart. Make sure it's nice and straight. And bring the opposite shoulder across to the knee. And again, turning the whole body, hip going slightly up as those hips, ribs, and shoulder, and head, everything turns to left to the side. Take a breath. Just relax into it as deeply as your body wants. Remember, no pressure on your knees, just positioning. And again, stretching it out, feeling the twist. Exhale back to the center. And again, tuck your chin in slightly as you wind back and into mountain pose. Feel your spine a little bit more energized and activated and hands to your heart. Shoulders down, fingertips toward the ceiling. Another back bend because that's good for you. And exhale over. Come all the way down into right dog. Just hang a moment, lifting your sitting bones, stretching the back of your legs. Hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Everything straight, spine, elbows, knees. And then bending your knees, exhale to the floor. Coming down to our child pose for our transition. Take a moment and breathe. Just relaxing down. Exhale, feet in. Deep breaths in. Exhale, shoulders relaxing, whole spine stretching in a little forward bend. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, coming into step position, legs out in front. So go ahead and push out through the heels, toes pulling back, feet hip width apart, and sitting down slightly behind. Keep the core active, supporting your spine, a nice straight spine. And don't forget to just exhale and relax as you get into your position. So we'll warm up the hips a little bit. Yeah. So bring one foot up to the opposite thigh. And the ankle still isn't working right. Take a breath. Just relax. Ankle coming up as far toward the hip as it wants to. And then again, you can always put your hand up or hands on the knee, but don't press, just add weight. If that feels tight and you want a little release, bring the leg over, front leg over to the side more. That'll open up that joint a little bit better. Exhale, just relax. Let the knee only come down as far as it wants. It doesn't need to ever excessively move. So just let it fall into its place, however deeply or not deeply it wants to go. Remember, when you relax, it goes further. So go to your maximum, back it off a little bit, breathe into it, exhale, and then maybe it'll go a little further. But each day is different, so do what's right for your body today. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands, moving the leg back and forth. In that hip rotator rotation. Um, you can wrap your arms around and pull it closer, which makes it a little more intense. If that's enough, stay there, or you can bring it higher or even closer if you want. And then as that gets a little bit more warmed up and lubricated, you can release that leg and notice the difference on the two sides. And then bring the other foot up. 
And again, balancing the body, just do what's right on this side. This side may be tighter, so bring that leg over if it wants to go. And add your hands for some weight, but not pressure, if you want a little bit more work being done through that leg. Just let it go its own pace toward the floor. Exhale, relax. Keep the knee and toes up on that front leg, whether it's straight to the front or over to the side. And remember, if you're really tight, you can get that cushioning behind you, which helps a little bit also. So just breathe, relaxing, letting everything just release a little bit more, getting that hip ready to do a little bit more work. And then bringing your foot and knee into your hands or pulling your arms around and in. Go ahead and rotate side to side, just moving the hip joint a little bit more. Stay there, or if it feels like that's easy, you can make it more intense if you like. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Keep the waist or, uh, ribs working to support your low back using those hands. And again, as you exhale, bring that leg back out and both sides a little bit more warmed up. Let's go ahead and Bring the feet into butterfly, letting the knees come out. Clasp under your toes, let the knees come down as you pull the heels in toward you as much as they want to go. Again, feeling that inner thigh, maybe you need a little bit more release there. So go ahead and bring your hands under your shoulders behind you. So again, as you do that, just a little pressure into your hands, activating that core a little bit more. And as those legs maybe relax a little bit, breathe. Let the bottoms of your feet kind of rotate toward the ceiling if that works. And let the knees maybe come down a little further. And then releasing your hands, bring the knees up and the legs back. And just sit. straightening everything in, keeping the core activated. Feel what's going on for you. And we're going to go up onto our hands and knees. So coming down to your hands and knees in table position. Remember, you have options for your wrists. You can fold the mat with the heel of the palm up a little bit. Or you can put your fist down if you need to straighten that wrist today. Otherwise, elbows, knees, and shoulders straight with the fingers spread on the mat, palms down. Knees right under your hips, and make sure that those ribs are up supporting your low back. Take a moment there, just feeling, stretching, spine nice and open, sitting bones and crowns, stretching apart, but shoulder blades, yeah, still towards your waist. And then bring your right knee between your thumbs, slide your left leg back, and bring that foot over toward it. The left. So we're coming into pigeon pose. Uh, bring the front knee over toward the side of the mat first. That makes it a little bit easier on your hip. And then just sink down both hips <clears throat> toward the floor. <coughs> Sorry. So go ahead, sinking the hips down straight toward the floor. Bring your chest forward slightly up and look to the front. But remember, don't punch the back of your neck. You don't need to look up. Take a moment there, breathing. If it's feeling tense and tight through the hips, through the legs, just slide your arms to the mat. Elbows right where you're under your shoulders. Hands just sliding forward and relaxing even further through those hips. So you're working the outside of the right leg and you're working the front of the left leg. So double work on your pigeon pose. So just relax into it. You can stay there with your forearms bent, or you can bring your hands back under your shoulders, chest slightly forward, stretching through the neck. Or those of you who are 19 year old Jimmy's cheerleaders, you can put your head and your foot together up in the air, feet on the I'm doing that. 
Take a moment to breathe again, just letting those hips sink evenly. And exhaling in the tension wherever. Chest forward, shoulder, shoulder blades there. If you're still on your forearms, come on back to the supported version with your hands on the floor. Exhaling, just maximizing that back bend and stretch through your hip a little bit more. And then press into your hands, slide the front foot back and the back foot up, and go into a little stretch of child's pose, stretching your back and relaxing your shoulders. You can circle your wrists, of course, and don't forget to breathe. And you know yoga, we're going to balance the body and do the other side. So come on back up to our table position. Choose what you need to do. And as we get ready, stretch the spine apart. Feel that core supporting you. And breathe. And then sliding the left knee forward. Slide the right knee back. And sink the hips slightly. Exhale, tension. Then we're going to bring the left knee over toward the left side and pull that heel up further if you'd like to. And again, even up those hips and let them sink toward the floor. Just exhale, relaxing, allowing that stretch to happen. Chest forward, shoulders even, facing the front. Now slightly up, chin not lifted. Just stretching. Just let that hip keep sinking slowly toward the foot. If that's good, you can stay there. Or again, you can release a little bit by bringing those forearms to the hand. Take a breath, just relaxing hips, releasing down even further. And exhaling any tightness, just letting that back leg get a good stretch out. Feeling that front of the thigh working, that hip flexor area as much as it wants, and letting that hip rotate at work. And again, if you like the hands, palms down on the floor, you can come up to that position if you moved to the floor. Exhaling again, just hips sinking, sinking, sinking toward the floor, getting that more stretch through the flexor and the hip joint. Chest forward, crown high, which power position you're in. Keep those shoulders low, shoulder blades down. And don't forget to keep breathing. Just relax. Exhaling the tension. Remember, the more you exhale, the more things release. And then if your hands are still down, forearms on the floor, come on back to your starting position. And chest forward, crown up. Shoulders down, feel that chest expand a little more. Maybe that's the leg area, get a little more stretch, maybe the hip too. And then pushing into your hands gently, bring the knee back and the other one up. And again, sink into extended child's pose. Circle your wrist, exhale tension. And then sitting up on your heels. Just bring your legs back to the front and all the way to the end of the mat into stamped position. Activate your core and slowly roll to the mat. Coming down into your recline integration, just take a moment there, feet up with the heart, shoulders down. Press the back gently down, sitting bones toward your heels. Go ahead and bend your knees. Bring those heels in right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up. Remember, don't let them sink out toward the sides or in toward each other. Bottoms of your feet, even on the floor. And then bring your right foot up and put the ankle on from the left knee. And your right knee on the knee. And then push it gently away. And exhale, no stress in your shoulders, just a gentle little thing. If you want a little bit more, you can lift your left foot and put your left heel behind the thigh or the shin and pull that side in while you're pushing the other one out. 
Exhale, just relaxing into your figure four. Letting both hips do a little work. And as you relax as much as possible. This one's supposed to be good for sciatic or any stress and tension in the low back. So not a lot of pressure in your shoulders, just gently. And then if your foot is up, bring it down, release your hands, lift the legs, straighten it out, and put your foot again next to the same one. Take a moment there, relaxing as we get ready to, yeah, to the other side. So left foot up, onto the right, ankle onto the right knee. Left hand on the leg on the inside of the leg, just gently pushing away. And if you want more, lift the other leg, pulling it in, either on the shin or the thigh. And again, just as much or as little as your legs and hips and body. And exhaling, relaxing, not overworking those shoulders, so there's not a lot of pressure in your arms. You're just working it. In fact, you can do it without your arms at all, if you prefer. Take a breath. Just keep pushing that knee away and the other one in, and as you're working it without your arms. Otherwise, the arms do a little awareness of where things are going. Take a breath. Relax. Any tension. And of course, when you're ready to release, bring your foot to the floor, the hands to the mat. Lift the leg and straighten it out, and then bring that foot down. Take a moment there. Just gently press your back to the floor. Bring your hands out to T position. Palms up or down, your choice. We'll do our bent knee twist. So press your back down. We'll lift your feet off the floor. If you want a little bit more in your twist, you can cross your leg over. Otherwise, keep them next to each other. And roll the knees over at hip level toward the side. Turn your head toward the opposite arm. Keep those shoulders down. Hands can be palms up or down, whatever makes those shoulders work better toward the floor. Take a breath. Exhale, relax into your twist. So just let the knees go as far toward the floor as they want. And if you need to, always do your twist, whatever's right for your body. Never overdo your twist. Head turning, neck area twist, knees going down, lower back twist, and shoulders for that middle back. Take a breath. Just relax into it as deeply as you want. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, uncross your legs, if you're across, straighten it out if you need to, and we'll do the other side. So knees above your hips, Cross the leg if you want, and roll the knees over, right at hip level. So they don't go up toward your hand or down toward your bottom of your mat. Shoulders stay down, just give me a good stretch through that middle back, and head turning through your neck area. And again, on this side, just let your knees come as far as your low back wants into the twist. Deepening and exhaling in tightness. Only as much as your body wants to go. Letting everything release, sinking deeper with each exhalation. Allowing your body to relax and balance energy and muscles. And of course, hold these longer on your own, but for now, feel spread your hips, roll onto your back. And cross if you are crossed and slide those legs out into corpse position. Hands, palms up, shoulders down. And the spine have its natural curves. Toes toward each other and then just relax your legs whatever they feel right. Move your head side to side. Relax your neck. Soften your jaw. And let your body go. Just let it sink into that earth surface, deep and into that support as you relax even more with each breath. And as you exhale and relax, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to your mind 
the sad thing are these as well. You know, we need to remember the past or anticipate the future. We need to think of the content of any thoughts. Just let it bring us ease and little bit. Love your body with our attention. Now, as your body relaxes deep into that first support, and your mind floats freely with that attention into any contents, just allow your awareness to find that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Fill your being with peace for a few minutes. And if that feels really good, relaxing the image, just keep on relaxing. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, begin stretching your body gently, help it which feels good to you today. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga cover appreciation, sitting by the sword, your heels back gently down, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, Head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.